what happened in the last video. Oh, quite overload times 10,000. And here is more, Mr. Dude Man, sir. Hello, and welcome to Mr. Dude Man, sir. And today, I am playing the usual, which is Corp Party Book of Shadows. And in the last episode, we started off with a very upbeat, like, scenario thing with the twinkle girls and whatnots and then you know Naho turned into a little kitty cat type deal and at the end of it you know I got all serious and now she's plotting some sort of uh, you know a cult thing she decided to do so um yeah that's where we left off she just got done telling Kabiki that I I think she left off telling Kabiki that she didn't want him to be doing the research with the uh, they like going to Heaven the Hills Elementary or something like that? I don't know. That's our note before she went to school. I don't know. Let's read to find out if it'll just rejog my memory. Huh. She's not here. Come to think of it, she did say she was going to school today. Which is rather unlike her. As usual, everything's in perfect order in this room. Like night and day compared to study. Hmm. What's this? A note? To my dear mentor, for you, I'll go to any lengths. Based on my findings from the old Tangent Town records, I feel more confident that it is possible to return from the school using the escape plan we discussed. But you and Taguchi don't have the ability to resist spirits like I do. It would be far too dangerous in there just for two of you. So when I get home from school today, I'll be joining you in performing with Chama Sachiko Shinozaki. I don't hold out much hope for our success, but if it works, you're seriously going to get the scoop to end all scoops. If I can help make lightning strike a third time for you in the editorial department, then you totally owe me a dinner, Naho. I'd say that would be a very dinner-worthy thing. <laughs> Thank you, Naho, but I really can't allow you to put yourself in danger like that. I know the escape plan. I'm going to go with Trusty Otaguchi, and you're going to wait for us here. I guess I should write her a note to, let, to that effect. Good morning, Mr. Kabiki. Are you awake? Well, he's full of spirit today. Perfect, then. Let's not waste any more time. I went to school as soon as I finished my morning recording session. But then it's, it's already lunchtime. And I would skip class as usual. But I knew where to find her. Work may have kept her out of school most of the time, but when she did come, there was one spot she always came chose. She went to lunch at the spot. She liked to get away from noisy classrooms to eat in peace. And I knew this because, well, I did too. This wasn't just her spot, but mine as well. We'd probably get in trouble if a teacher ever found us here, though. See, the lock on the door leading to the school roof just happened to be broken. So, mm, what a nice breeze. And that sunlight, too. Absolutely magical. Mm, yeah. <sighs> there was a fence between the buildings to prevent students from falling, but it wasn't very high, so getting over was a fairly simple task. Was that necessary? Is there really a panty shot necessary right now? I don't think so. But alley -oop. I cross the gap, mindful of any stray gusts of wind. It doesn't look like you're very too mindful. As the CG shows. The best shade was on that sign, so as long as it didn't look down, it was well worth the effort. And there she is. Oh no! As expected, she was nestled right into her usual spot. The site was positively picturesque. A high school girl all tucked away in the school roof, who was buried in a book with a nondescript paper dust jacket. I swear you could just paint any moment of the girl's life and it would make a fine portrait. Mm. Sayaka! Blah. Sayaka, hey there! Sorry to have kept you out so late last night. Hope your family wasn't mad at you or anything. Nope. No problems at all. They were A-OK -okay with it. Oh, 
Seems you've trained them well. <laughs> what about you and flying? So hey, that book from Mr. Kabiki you lent me yesterday. Freaking awesome! Right, didn't you just totally suck you in? I love how it goes on and on with the psychological description of the first murder scene. That protagonist is totally nutso. Yeah, I wish I had been reading in bits and pieces during work to com commute. They kinda took away from the tension. But I can't wait to read more. Yeah, just keep at it. It's gonna blow your mind. Oh yeah, and that Twinkle CD you lent me. To die for, seriously. Really? Awesome. I'll bet you recognized a bunch of the songs from the concert, right? You should check out some of their music videos sometimes, too. Maybe on the Yubtubs. Maybe they've got one on my phone that I can show you now. Nope. Guess not. I'll have to give you a rain check on that. I wonder if there are any good fan-made ones. Ooh, good call. If there are, I totally want to see. The bell. <sighs> One o'clock already. Well, I've got an appointment I can't miss, I'm afraid. I got to see you at the school for recording. It's at 5.30 in East Shinjuku. Is that like Eastern Standard Time? Except for Japan? I don't know. So we could probably meet a four behind the school gate. Okay. <laughs> you you said behind the gate. Really? What are you? Five? What, what does behind the gate mean? What does that mean? I probably I should get perverted jokes. I really should. But I do not get this one. Uh, not who is cool as a cucumber. Just like always. Today's recording was sure to be a blast. Hmm. <coughs> this one's persistent. I'll give her that. <coughs> oh. Blood? Really? Is this terse? Honestly affecting me all the way down to the cellular level? <coughs> Seriously, how long are you planning on haunting me? Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the night's installment of Sayaka's Aoua's Love Braver. The night don't start till I pour it on my heart. So let's get pouring, shall we? You'll never guess where I went today. I went to school. I met up with a friend, actually. It was the first time in a while. I could just kick back and relax. We would talk forever. Like FOREVER. But of course. The real reason I went to learn stuff in junk. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> They're laughing at me in the control booth. What's going on in there, fellas? Huh? The thought of Ms. Wow actually going to school is hilarious. Hey, come on. I go to school. I do. I'm a high school student just like everybody else my age. Don't laugh. You're trying to say I'm too old. Too cool for school. Seriously, stop it. You're gonna give me a, com a complex. <sighs> Some days you just can't win, you know. All I wanted to do was say how great school is. And look what happened. I'm laughing stock. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys are having fun at least. Let's enjoy our half hour together tonight. To the fullest. Braver. Sayaka's on-air personality was incredible. I was absolutely listening to a pro at work, and she had me hooked from the moment it began. Okay, that wraps up with the intro. Miss Sayanoki, please, head into the booth. On my way. It was my turn now as a guest speaker when I entered the recording booth. Sayaka sat facing her mic and waved me over. Hey, a girlfriend! I returned Sayaka's cheery smile and set myself in front of the guest quest mic. Is that like some sort of very expensive mic that's like 10 times expensive more than my snowball? Probably. That would prepare for me. But something felt wrong. Very, very wrong. Holy crap, that's Sachiko! What are you doing here? 
Hmm. What's the matter? Oh, it's... It's nothing. I just felt dizzy for a second. Well, the camera's on, you know. So, wear your cutest face, okay? Roger that. <laughs> this child... As the daughter mentioned research in Shinozaki family. This is Sachiko. She was the one who'd attached herself to me. Her eyes were black and hollow, with no discernible pupils at all. She sat utterly motionless, but I knew she was watching me, waiting, biding her time. My hair stood on end. Blood rushed to my head and bile surged into my throat. The Shinozaki curse was far too powerful. I couldn't suppress it. And it was clear Sayaka couldn't see her. This was bad. I had to be careful not to let Sachiko interfere with the recording equipment. Okay, we're back. Start with the listener mail. Alright, folks. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The topic of this week's Try to Do a Thing workshop is... Oh, Can I go home now, please? <laughs> what do you mean, no? Come on, be a sport. <laughs> I guess there's nothing I can do about it. This week's topic is, that's right, try to tell a scary story. Yikes. Man, I told you all I didn't want to do this one. So why did you guys send in so many responses? We actually received a record amount. Far too many to tackle by myself. So, I've invited a guest to help me out. <laughs> hey, hey, don't, but... Who is applauding? This is a radio station! Is it a radio station, just these two people? It's not like you're in front of a like crowd or anything, is it? I don't know. I don't know how Japanese radio stations go. But hey, I know how where our radio stations go when our radio stations are just people. Alone. Playing music. Yeah. I haven't had seen who it is. Or has anyone, everyone already guessed? Because it's totally who you think it is. The pro with the no. How? Spirit Investigator Extraordinaire. As beautiful as she is brainy. It's high school paranormalist Naho Sainoki. Give it up for Naho! Where is the applause coming from? Good evening. Thanks so much for coming. Are you using like some sort of sound board to play the applause kind of like Disney Channel does? It's like replays the same applause over and over again? Like every episode? No? I don't know how you do. You probably do good. I know you have like a hit radio station, so whatever you be do, you be do good. No, thank you. It's an honor to have invited. Oh, <laughs> how about that, everyone? So mellow, so modest. Isn't she just a bee's knees? No, and I actually go to the same school. We're even in the same class, isn't that right? <laughs> We hang out a lot, in fact. Some of you clearly knew that, and have been outright demanding that Nahu make a guest appearance for quite some time now. Well, your wish is my command. My pleasure, in fact. I think I may even be more thrilled to have her here than you guys. Anyway, given today's theme, Nahu seemed that perfect guest. So, care to take us, get us started with the scary stories? Trouble on the border between this life and the next, under my seven stars. That's what I'm talking about. Those ghosties have got to be shivering in their ethereal bodies after hearing something like that. So let's get right into the listener letters, shall we? Here's a scary story from Junipei Nagi of M City in Tokyo. M City? What is M City? I don't know. In my experience. Adverse spiritual manifestations from my research have always been pretty easy enough to keep at bay with my powers, but this one was different. For this energy to be completely visible in broad daylight, I'd never seen anything like it. Probably because Sachiko was one tough cookie. I would know. I've had a few running with her. A lot, actually. Ugh, this was bad. My head was splitting. But the cameras were rolling so to speak, so I had to at least keep myself from coughing up blood again. How does one stop yourself from coughing up blood? I don't know. 
Whatever you did, you did good because the music changed from creepy to casual now. So you did good. Now is grabbing her skirt tightly with both hands. Most is completely rigid. My, my. Was she actually getting nervous? How unlike her. I kind of grinned internally a bit and decided not to acting all girly and scared. It was adorable, as I like to say. But I still had a show to host. Dunk. I slid open the door, and then before me I saw... A pair of eyes, staring intently right into my very soul. Wow, that is so super freaky. How about it, Naho? This has just got to be fake, right? Mr. Mizuno of Kyoto was just pulling our leg, right? He may be, but with only this little evidence going on, it's hard to judge the authenticity of the claim. So what you're saying is, it might actually be real? Yeah! That is a possibility, yes. Oh no, please. Actually, I've noticed something even more frightening since the segment began. No, your focus keeps drifting over to the corner of the booth. Uh, um, well... Don't tell me. There's somebody there, is there? Oh, I'm getting chills. Do we have another guest with us today? An uninvited one, perhaps? Please, say you know, please to know? Is, is there supposed to be a space there somewhere? Please to know. Oh, please say no. <laughs> I don't know. I probably they just couldn't fit all the words into one, like, it's all these, this paragraph of the one chat box, so what they did is, like, squeeze it all together with those spaces. <laughs> so it was really hard to read. But yeah, please say no. No, 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 we're fine. This seemed a perfect twist after the tension of my segment, but the look of the, uh, her face suggested that I may have been on something, which was terrifying. Her guest spot on this show may have just been fun and games, but I knew Nahu was well versed in spiritual matters, so if she actually sensed something. I had never really taken this ghost stuff too seriously before, but it might have just been because I didn't understand it. It was like a whole other world. A whole new world! Un- unbeak no unbeknownst to me. The time was coming, and fina finally starting to treat it with gush and respect it deserved. But by then, it would be too late. Great work, everyone. That's a wrap. The recording ended without an instant, as far as anybody knew. Sayaka tossed a piece of chocolate into her mouth that seemed to have been brought with her. She as casual and relaxed as can be. So out with it. Did you see something in the booth or not? No, I didn't see anything. I glanced back into the recording booth. Such good spirit had disappeared a little while ago. I felt it was best to act as if nothing had happened, and successfully managed to steer the topic of conversation elsewhere. Until... What the... Hmm. What's wrong? Was someone talking out there during the recording? No way would anyone make a rookie mistake like that. You wouldn't be able to hear us from inside the booth anyway. There's something on the tape, though. Sounds like a voice to me. Huh? Where? Here, during this exchange. Mr. Mizuno of Kyoto is pulling our leg, right? He may be, but with only one of the evidence, the only this evidence to go on, I... Why did you... I didn't... You had more words to be said. And it looked very important. Message log, we go. He may be, but with only the evidence to go on. Assistant B, um... I'm only hearing those two. Wait, what? what? Assistant B, I'm only hearing those two. Yeah? Okay? Yeah? What was that about? I don't know. You don't hear the third voice? Mr. Mizuno of Kyoto is just pulling our leg, right? Maybe. But with only this evidence to go on. Engineer. Right there. That's what Miss Sainoki says. He may be. Mr. Mizuno of Kyoto is just pulling our leg, right? He may be. But with only this evidence to go on. 
He may be, but yep, Sayaka pulling our leg, right? He may be, but with the. <laughs> you talked to him, I gotta read this! <laughs> oh god, there is a voice. It's saying, I'm watching you, right? He may be, but with only. Whoa! Ah. Ah. You've got to be kidding me. It's an recording, for sure. I probably would be able to hear that if no, I had the voices on. Sad face. What they should do is they should have, like, for sound effects, they should have the voices, but they... I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I just want to be able to narrate and have the voices at the key moments. Ah! It's so creepy. Is this for real? An actual EVP? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Gah! Oh! Hey, what's the matter? Pull yourself together! <laughs> Suddenly, the director began to clutch at his throat and thrash around. His face was bright red and his mouth frothed over as he struggled to breathe. Yeah. Oh. Hold him down! He's going to knock everything over and hurt himself! Y yes, sir! G <laughs> is... Is it over? What was that? Some kind of seizure? Oh crap, he's not breathing! What? God... Call an ambulance! Quickly! You need CPR! Okay... Come on, keep it together, man! The heck's going on? Send the guest home. We're done. Saka's usual smiling countenance had been replaced by a thin mouth and cold sweat. There was no doubt about it. This was the influence of that spirit. This sort of thing must have been a huge shock for someone who's never had contact with the spirit world before. I regretted appearing on the program at all. Is this like a meetup spot right out front of the concert place? Huh. I'm so sorry. I guess I shouldn't have come. Oh, don't be silly. You did great. They managed to resuscitate the director too, at the hospital. That's nice. That is very nice. I thought he died. It's good that he's alive now. And we can cut out, cut out the voice of the broadcast. But honestly, I say we leave it. I mean, it's kind of a lucky break. When you think about it. <laughs> hmm. I'm really grateful you for your help today. I owe you one. So if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Oh, and as for the quill faint on, how's the next week sound? <laughs> on the way home, Naha finally smiled. Glad to see she still had it in her. I needed to put on a happy face myself too. I was afraid if I seemed too gloomy. It would bring Naho down, and she hadn't done anything wrong. I had to let her know how grateful I was, and I tried to bring her spirits back up. The two of us parted ways on the corner near our houses, as I needed to stop in the convenience store for some groceries. See you later. Thanks again. You too. Good night. I never before felt such a strong... Persistent spiritual presence. I had a considerable amount of power within me, and usually, it was more than enough to express any malicious wills that dared draw near. But even with any of my concentration, it was still drowned out by all the cars in the background of this they game. I'd still put Sayaka and her co-workers in grave danger. They easily could have been killed by the curse. For the sake of dear Kabiki's safety, we really should have put the Key Bosch and our entire investigation of the Shinazaki family land a lot sooner. But it wasn't too late to call it off, as far as I knew. I was going to pull out from Heavenly Host Elementary. Case altogether, I made up my mind. I should probably undergo a traditional spirit exorcism as soon as possible. Hmm. 